So with obviously there are like three pillars of sneakers and things that, you know, they're the resellers, which we talked about. They're the people who just buy it to wear it because you need shoes. Um, and then there are the collectors. So, you know, the, those three, obviously the, the wearing people sort of take care of themselves and the resellers, we spoke about that. But the last part is the collectors. Um, and people collect sneakers, they collect cards, they collect a lot of things. Uh, how do you think about, you know, adding other collectibles into sort of the Foot Locker universe and bringing things in like NFTs and cards and this and that? Where where do you, you know, look at the ability to add in other collectibles to this whole world or even track what people are collecting? So um, I mentioned, so my marketing, like I talked about, marketing has evolved in, in the world and in certainly in our organization. And one of the things that I do is I oversee two teams that, that um, look at brands and partnerships differently. And they're, they, they're, they sit on, they sit in the middle of product and marketing. And um, one of them more on a scale level and one of them more at an energy level. And they do, co they do collaborations, they do licensing with, I with different IPs, um, they bring in creators and, and, uh, and different brands. And we also look at um, uh, ad adjacent categories like collectibles. And, and, and so when we look at that sort of thing, we, the most important piece of it is that it, it, it stays within our, it is adjacent. It, it's, it, it, and when I say that, it, it is relevant to who we are and what we do. It's an ad. So, um, you know, we have tried some collectibles that have absolutely not worked. And it's because they've been just on the outside of what, of who we are. And we've tried, and we've tried the exact same collect type of collectibles within who we are. And we've hit, and, and it's been amazing. So, you know, I think that you will see a really exciting partnership with someone like Funko. Mm. Um, where right. you'll where you'll see collect where you'll see collectibles that are very much within the sweet spot of hoops footwear and sort of the youth culture that that we see as our sweet spot um and I, and so i and i think that we are i i you know we talk about the what's happening with both um physical and digital trading cards obviously obviously we talk top shot um, so, you know, and those, those, all those conversations are, are real and it's just figuring out the way to do them in a authentic way. You know, the, what's happening with NFTs right now is really interesting. It's, it's, um, it's, it's sort of, uh, you know, you see a lot of people doing it and, um, and it's not that hard to do, um, because of the platforms are set up for you. But, um, you know, I, I think that if we're, when we enter that space, where we want to make sure that we're doing it in a, in a, in a really um, relevant way for our specific passionate customer. Totally. And, you know, especially with how early it is in that world, everything's so volatile, which then also puts consumers at risk, which is never a good thing for a company like Foot Locker. So there's also that sort of added facet to not wanting to jump on that side of digital too early on particularly decentralized platforms. Like Top Shot is super centralized. It's only them. You don't pay in Ethereum. You don't pay on no. everything. Yeah. You Cred pay by credit card yeah. and Flow, which is their own token. Yep. yep. Uh, so it, it centralized is a little bit safer. Decentralized yep. is just, I mean, yep. nobody knows anything. And people yep. who say they know something are lying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 100%. It, that that's really interesting to me, but it has been super cool to allow uh, this form of competition and, and creative competition, right? Because people don't look at it. The creators don't look at it as competition. And that's great because then the end products just get better and better and better and better because there's yeah. so many people trying and putting yep, right. out that the consumers can just say, Oh, I like this. Or I like that. Yeah. And then they become a millionaire overnight, like people yeah. and people, you know, and, and, and you know, I, I, I appreciate Top Shot. I, not everybody does appreciate Top Shot uh, and and sort of the the credit card evolution. Um, again, there's many many purists out there who 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 don't love that. For me, per, me personally, it mainstreamed it for me. Right. 
for me, um, who's, you know, an older 40 plus guy, you know, who's, you know, but again, I, I, but, you know, and, 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 um, and I think that that happened for a lot of people. And I think, you know, uh, you know, the NFT boom that's happening right now, I don't think would have happened this fast and this loud without Top Shop. I agree. No, I, I definitely agree. It opened, it opened it up for people to get a taste. And I, I feel like with anything, you need a little bit of a taste. You need to experience it before yeah. you go headfirst in. Yeah. And like the reason that everybody isn't a multimillionaire off Bitcoin is because it was really hard to buy Bitcoin at the beginning. Areas of entry. Exactly. And it decreased that. So then people got their taste and the taste was easy enough to get that they were willing to go the extra leaps and bounds yeah. to get into the other stuff. Yeah. And then everything else saw arise because of that. So there, there's an argument to make even bigger than the statement that you made that opened up NFTs. I think because the crypto boom happened at a very similar time. I know. There's an argument to be made about that having an in, in, you know, impact on Bitcoin and Ethereum's value. Yeah. Well, and, and, and they still, I think most of their transactions are, if I remember correctly, most of their, um, because they were, I, I saw them speak, a lot of their transactions are, might be credit, but a lot, but I think the, do, the, the most the amount, the, the actual revenue is mostly crypto. So, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a balance. So, I mean, but yeah, I think they've had, a, I think they've, they've really created a wave.